Good morning, everybody. So, we're finally back with an install video. I was actually supposed to look at a truck this morning, and the dude's an absolute retard. And I messaged you and I asked, hey, do you have pictures underneath him? And you say, no, I'll send them to you in the morning. And I said, okay, well, once I get the pictures, I can come, cash in hand. And the morning comes, no pictures. So I message him, oh, I'll have to get some after work. I asked yesterday. Whatever, so what we're gonna be doing today is getting the front bumper on the Ford. So we've had the move bumper for like two months now, but I've had some crazy shit happen basically. Between death in the family, sold a truck I was lied to about miles, um, getting COVID, we're finally gonna get the bumpers on. But first we have to get this one off. I have to get the light bar off, um, but I'm just gonna cut the wires and take it off with the bumper. But the bumper mounts uh, to this frame rail somewhere. So we're gonna get it all unbolted, get it off, and then we can unbox the front bumper. Our bolts are right in behind the frame rail on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and get to take it apart. just like that we've done it off so you guys know I had this truck painted and body worked by what used to be called car guys it was in Ocala Florida it was in Lady Lake Florida and it was in Crystal River Florida they had three locations and I had the passenger fender replaced I had the passenger bedside replaced I had the rear bumper, the rear tail lights, and the tailgate replaced. As you can tell, well, tailgate does not line up whatsoever on either side. Um, bedside is the the spot weld that hold the top railing on. It's actually broken free, and it's starting to come up right here. Um, and then the paint. The paint is the uh, number one thing. Is it is completely trashed as you can tell and the drip rails were rusting from the inside out I don't know how well he doesn't want to see you but I've already went through I've already removed all the rust from them and then sprayed it's basically like a uh, rust reformer it's almost like a primer just to keep it from rusting more uh, I did that myself just so it wouldn't rust anymore and then here is our mounts uh, well they used different size bolts in here. Like this isn't even the original bolt that would be there. And had all mismatched nut sizes and everything. Like that bumper was originally on the truck. They just painted it black. Everything was chrome. The grill, the headlight bezels, the bumpers, the trim around the windshield, the mirrors. The handles it was all chrome when the truck went in long story short they screwed me over a lot for three months and i was ready to do jail time uh to whoop someone's ass i was 18 years old um i was ready to beat somebody's ass and the owner kind of like freaked out and was like here what can we do to you know make you feel a little bit better so i was like i don't like the chrome paint it black so they did uh, but they did some some retard shit when they put it back on so it was all different size bolts getting it off but we did finally get it off I'm actually gonna clean this because it's like hardly ever visible now that I get to build this bumper thanks to move. Um, I'm gonna make it a little bit more visible, but yeah, I'm excited. This thing's about to look a whole, whole lot different.
this is genuinely it. There's not very many pieces to this kit. It starts at a pretty simple front end. This is our first section. This is the one we're gonna do first. And then these just tack straight to it. And in here we, I think we'll probably frame them out. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what these are. Just frame mounts. Oh no, these are our pod mounts, I think. I think. And then these are the corner end pieces, I believe. Oh, these are our clevises. Oh, that's so sick. That's for our pods. Now, these are our frame mounts. How the hell do y'all work? All right, it's a couple hours later. Uh, I had to run to Lowe's to get some bolts. Um, I don't know if they expect, if Move expects you to reuse the factory hardware, uh, but this truck, the bumper mounts right here on the front of this frame rail right here. Um, and those bolts are like longer than my hand and they would literally stick like all the way out over here. And that's not how I wanted it. So I went and got bolts and I actually had to cut the mount design uh so it came all the way back over to this corner and it was hitting this uh cab mount right here this body mount and it just wouldn't work so i had to cut the ends of it off and which i had to go buy some cutting wheels because i didn't have any and now we have the mounts on there so i can finally get this center piece tacked on there so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use my um what the hell are they called? The frame jack things, uh, pipe stands. That's what they're called, pipe stands. I'm gonna use the pipe stands to hold this up there. Um, I noticed this before, but I never really said anything because it didn't really matter, but I'm pretty sure my frame's tweaked right here. Uh, if you look how bent that is, uh, that's where the factory tow hooks mount. And you actually have to remove them to put this on, uh, but this thing is not straight. Uh, definitely before I owned it this thing got super stuck and someone's snatched on this multiple times and they not only bent this out they actually turned the front of this frame rail just a little bit sideways so hopefully that doesn't matter with any and luckily this is all a bolt together kit uh, or a weld together kit so I'll be able to tack this wherever it needs to go uh, I might have to fill a gap with a weld a little bit um, but I, I took uh, my map gas torch and i got this super hot and i took that massive sledgehammer right there and beat and beat and beat until the head of the hammer the actual sledge part came off um i was starting to get it to bend back a little bit i even heated it up and tried to jack the frame up with the pipe stand that didn't work uh so we're just gonna have to tack it right here uh, but we're gonna get our pipe stands set up right here in the center to hold that center section um, and Then get it tacked together. I'm using a little century flux core welder. This little thing's a badass It's a 90 amp and it plugs into a normal 110 outlet Like so and This thing is bad to the bone. It welds quarter inch. No problem whatsoever actually welded uh, the quarter inch Dion tubing for the radius arms that I built on that. If you never saw that video, if you're new to the channel. This little thing is badass. I paid 140 bucks for it off Facebook Marketplace, brand new in the box. Definitely, I think they're like 200 something dollars new. If you want a cheap flux core welder so you don't have to keep gas or anything at home, this right here is the way to go. I've had the 120 from, it's 120 or 110 from Harbor Freight and it's booty crust compared to that thing that thing badass so let's see this together all right so since i got brandon here able to hang this up and have him tack it now what i showed you guys before the frame rail over here is a little tweaked out uh, because someone apparently got super stuck once upon a time and pulled the tried to snatch on the truck too hard and bent the frame rail over here and then this piece right here that mounts to the fenders is uneven and you can see i can fit my whole finger in over here and then come over here and i can't fit my finger in at all 
So it's a little uneven, but we've got some adjustment on this side. So we just went ahead and tacked it over here. We can lower this, as I can tell, looking at it, this side looks like it's a little bit higher, but it's hard to tell because this piece is uneven. Uh, but we do have some adjustment in the mounts, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, what we're doing right now is, since we tacked it right here, I'm gonna get my flap disc and smoothing this side up so we can get this piece right here tacked on. Uh, then we'll go ahead and do the other side. And then we have our little end mounts. These guys right here that go on the ends. Just getting everything tacked on. Once everything's tacked together, then we'll pull the bumper off, finish weld it on the ground, and then get our clevis hooks and everything like that tacked and fully welded. Then I'll have to grind everything down, throw a coat of primer on it, and wait for some paint to come into the truck. But let's get after it. Hey everybody, so I just ran out of wire in the welder, but I got the front all welded up and actually started grinding on a lot of this. I don't know what all you guys can see, but I really got this side already grinded on the front. I still have to come over and do this side. Now, um, this is going to sound like an excuse and a bunch of BS, uh, but I started welding this really like the first weekend I was better from being sick with COVID. And one thing, one side effect I noticed was that I was very shaky uh, from COVID. So a lot of my welds look like crap on the front of this. Um, this is now uh, a week and a half later from when I started this. And I have a lot better of a steady hand. So this is from today. As you can see, that is a whole lot better as well as this it's a lot more flat not so buttery um, and then these are from when I first started now I still have penetration as you can tell with the color I have great penetration uh, but they are very buttery now they do smoothen out to, to look pretty good and I'm loading front and back because as you can tell right here after taking the flap disc to this you can kind of see where the crack where these were pieced together is coming back through. That is why I'm going to weld both sides of everything. Weld this gap right here. Um, and I'm kind of torn. So it's not going to be in this video. Uh, it'll be in a future video. But I'm debating. I have some Rust-Oleum Gloss Black that um, you can paint panels with. Let me show you. So this fender right here is what I've practiced on in the past with painting. And... I painted it with the Rust-Oleum and as you can tell looks pretty good. 
So I'm debating on, for the time being, just painting the bumpers and the rust oleum until I can get some paint in. Uh, because I don't really know where to order the paint online. And right now I'm trying not to spend very much money because I'm in the process of shopping for a truck. So I don't want to spend any extra money that I have. I would like that money to go towards whatever truck I buy instead of paint because paint can become expensive. You never know how much paint is gonna cost until it becomes the time to order it. So I think what I'm gonna do in a future video is paint this with the Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. As you guys know, we have the black grill, black headlight bezel, the kind of black headlights, black windshield trim, black mirrors, black handles. Um, I say black rear bumper, but we do have a move rear bumper, but we've got the black handle, the smoke tail light. So I think the black might look good for now, but like I said, I do want to color match it in the future because we are running polished wheels. I do plan on putting chrome mirrors. I'm gonna leave the windshield trim black, but I do want to put all chrome back up here. I do want to color match these because I do want to put the chrome trim and everything back up there but i think for the time being we're going to paint these gloss black so i'm gonna run up to harbor freight i'm gonna get me some more wire probably pick up another flap disc i'm not going to flap disc the back of this at all i'm going to leave the back alone um that's why i am trying to make the welds a little bit prettier uh, because they're not going to be flap disc down at all but the front will be flap disc the front will be completely smooth and then we're going to get our brackets all welded up right here get all that taken care of so i picked up some more wire i'll come back home finish welding this i won't show you guys any more welding you guys know what welding looks like at this point uh get it all welded up get it all smoothed out and kind of show you where we're looking at all right hopefully you guys can hear me over the fan but uh, a couple days later i got everything finished welded and i sprayed some primer on these welds just because i'm not going to be painting it uh, probably not anytime soon. It's just going to be on the truck with bare metal. Now, Weld does have like some type of coating on here that slowly prevents it from rusting. I think, could be wrong, could, could just be bare, bare metal, but I have noticed that the welds in the places that you sand rust a lot faster than the other areas. Now, I still have some little pinholes like this, and right here, and right here, that when I come comes time to actually paint this, I don't go over, sand this primer down and fill with body filler. But now I'm gonna flip this thing over, get our mounts for our pods welded up, get our section for a light bar, and I'm gonna do the clevises on the truck so I can kind of get a general area for it. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this on the truck by myself. I guess only time will tell. But I'm gonna get everything welded up and kind of show you how I did it because I don't know if other people have shown it on YouTube and it can be kind of a confusing thing you don't know where exactly everything mounts up. So I'll show you guys. All right, after oh, welding, we got all our mounts on, all fully welded. You guys can see that. So I think this is how it goes. Um, you know what I just realized? I definitely welded these on upside down. Um, that's nice. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Well, they still work the same way. Uh, it would just be they would be hanging before right now they're gonna be sticking up which i don't mind so guys don't be like me weld them on the right way uh it's be a better look for you guys um, move lotos here so this is the bottom i got this part right uh these are supposed to be right there uh, oh well nothing i can do about it what i did because this light bar off the ford that was on the ford bumper is actually the same size that goes in here this is a 32 inch and this is technically a 30 inch cutout but can't really find 30 inch light bars um, everyone makes 32s so i took this light bar and i set it up in here just like that and saw where i wanted everything and as you guys can see it looks good on there. So that's how everything's gonna sit. And I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to do my mounts until I have the exact light bar because I'm not gonna put this one back in there. I'm gonna get a new light bar. This one is probably six, I'd say six, seven years old now. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna get a new one. These that come in the box are the mounts for the light bar. 
So they would go like this. So you can mount it wherever you want. Uh, but like I said, I'm not gonna put those in there yet. I'm gonna leave them off to the side. So next time you guys see me, uh, we're gonna have the bumper on the truck and close out this video. So uh, let's get to it. All right guys, so the bumper is on the truck, but I can't move the truck back because the truck is dead. My jumper tables are in my car. My car is currently three hours away, uh, so I can't move it backwards and give you guys a better look at it. Here is the bumper. I don't have anything tightened down just as I'm gonna have to take this back off, but I will say it was a major pain getting it on here by myself. It sucked a whole lot, but I was able to get it on. I put rags over top the corners right here, so I tried not to scratch up my paint. I think I still ended up scratching it a little bit on the side over here, but mainly just dodged it on here so I can get the clevis hooks mounted up uh, where I want them and everything and kind of getting a good idea of where they're going to sit because uh, I don't want to weld them off the truck well, with the bumper off the truck and they not be where I want them. So I'm going to weld them while they're on the truck and hopefully they turn out good. But guys, this is the end of the video. Uh, I hope you guys made it this far. If you did, drop a like down on this video. And guys, go down in the description, click the link down below. Go check out Move. If you guys use my code Aaron Cates, it saves you $25 off your order. Um, that's not paying me to say that. Now, you guys know I am a big, big fan of Move. I have made friends with the company. They are great people. That's family owned. I mean, you guys would not be, you guys would not believe how small of a company Move really is. Like when it comes to ownership and who runs it and everything. It is a very, very small family owned business. And guys, if you're American, you know about su supporting small businesses. So guys, go check out Move. You can get weldable kits for about $500. That welder right there that I just welded with that, you can pick that up brand new from Lowe's for $240. So for $500, $240, $740, and a roll of welding wire is 20 bucks at Harbor Freight, under $800, and you can have this. Please tell me somewhere else where you're gonna get an off-road bumper for under $800. I will wait. I will wait. This thing came out sick. I absolutely love it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.